Hey everyone, it's Mr. Rose on here. Uh, in this video, I want to be showing you how to make a Gantt chart using Google Sheets. Uh, if you're not aware of what a Gantt chart is, a Gantt chart is basically a project planning tool. And uh, essentially what you do is you put your, your steps here of your project, and then you put in dates or days or whatever you want up here, and then you make bars to indicate when you're going to be working on your project. And uh, there's all kinds of different software you can use for this. Um, in the past, I've used something called Ganter for Google Drive, which is very similar to this one right here. So wherever the bars are, that's when you're working on that phase of the project. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with Google Sheets, and it's really, really easy to do. Uh, I've seen a few tutorials where they make sideways bar charts that, you know, they make part of the bars transparent and stuff, but I found a real easy way, and I'll show you how to do it. So... I'm in Google Sheets here, and, we'll, and uh, you can sort of set this up how you want, but I like doing it like this. So I'm going to write day, and then I'm going to write uh, step right here. And I'm just going to do just something quickly. So day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. So it's going to be a ten-day project. And you don't have to use days. You can use dates instead. So you can use an actual date. Uh, so you can have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and have the date in there if you want. But I'm just going to use day numbers. And then for my steps, uh, let's use the standard steps for computer science, but you can use this for any project you want. So we'll say um, project definition, analysis, design, coding, testing, implementation, and then maintenance. Something like that, okay? And then to make the bars, it's super simple, literally, uh, I found this, you would not believe it, but I found this on a, on a food cooking video where a guy did a project and uh, I, he showed this on a spreadsheet and I was like, this is so amazing. And so literally all you got to do is this. So there's how you make your bar. So, uh, oops, I actually colored in the wrong one by accident. Project definition is my first step. So let's color it in blue. Maybe an analysis is going to take one day. Maybe design will be another day. Maybe coding is going to be three days, so we're going to highlight more of them. Testing is maybe one day. Installation or implementation, let's just say, is one day or two days. And then maintenance is going to be one day as well. And uh, yeah, that's it right there. So it's a super simple way of making a Gantt chart. You literally just shade in cells. And you can have, you know, multiple cells running at the same time. You can do different colors if you want. Uh, what I have seen before is that sometimes they'll have it so that if something's completed, they'll, have, they'll be one color. So maybe we make these ones green. And so maybe we've done all those. And maybe we're halfway done uh, coding. So right here, we'll be on day five. And everything in green is complete. And everything blue is to be finished. Um, but that's what it is. So... Again, this is a real quick video on how to make a, a real quick and easy Gantt chart, and you could print this out if you wanted. And uh, you, what you do is you list all of your steps here. So all the steps for whatever your project is. Again, this is a computer science example, but it doesn't have to be that. It could be any kind of project. You list all your steps here, and you list all the days on the top, and you just fill in with the... You just sheet in your cells to make the bars, and you indicate when you're going to be working on those uh, different steps. So hopefully you found this video useful. I find it's a pretty simple way of making a Gantt chart, and it doesn't require any software or anything like that, so it's really good in my mind. So again, hopefully you found it useful. And again, this is Gantt charts and Google Sheets.